Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now, CPU coolers. They're not the most exciting thing in the world, but they're probably one of the most essential when it comes to putting together a PC. Now, you can either opt for Intel or AMD's stock offerings, or you can choose an aftermarket solution offered from one of the many reputable companies out there, such as Corsair, Cooler Master, Noctua, Be Quiet, so on and so forth. To put it simply though, you're going to need a CPU cooler in order to stop your processor overheating. This is starting to sound like one of those sponsored videos where I might now say, this, however, is guaranteed to stop your processor overheating ever again. And if you click the link, I'll get 5% of whatever deal I've made with some shady company. That's not the case though, because today we're checking out one of Intel's own offerings, the BXTS 15A. It's an absolute giant, and it reminds me of the CPU coolers found with older high-end Core 2 Duos and Core 2 Quads from many years gone by. We've even got a nice little copper base here. But the question is, is it any good? Well, in the UK it costs £20 or $30 in the US on Amazon. And for that, well, you could also get one of these, the Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim. Enough chit chat then. What I wanted to do was compare this to the Intel stock cooler you may find with some modern chips, as well as the aforementioned Be Quiet Pure Rock Slim to see how things compare temperature wise and answer the question Is this ridiculous looking contraption worth it? So, the first thing I did was test all coolers with my i5 8400, a 65 watt processor that runs fairly cool regardless of load and has no problem with heat on the stock cooler. I played Rage 2 and Crisis for an hour or so each, ran a couple of CPU intensive tests and monitored both the idle and max temps using MSI Afterburner. The stock cooler performed the worst as expected, yet even so the results weren't bad. First place was debatable considering the leaning tower of Intel and the Be Quiet came very close, the former exhibiting a slightly better stock temperature. The Be Quiet was least audible though. The same aftermarket Arctic MX4 thermal paste was used throughout. As ridiculous as the Intel TS15A looks, albeit not as ridiculous as the 5 fan GTX 680 in the test system, it's certainly capable of improving thermals over the vanilla option, but it doesn't really make sense when products like the Pure Rock Slim exist. But what about overclocking? Well I took the Intel aftermarket beast to a friend's house where inside lie a PC featuring a 4.5GHz Core i7 2600K. This time round results varied a bit. I mean forget the stock cooler here ok, the CPU overheated worse than my old Land Rover. And boy did that thing get hot. Comparing the two £20 options then and it's safe to say that the Pure Rock Slim took the edge. I don't really think I need to go into too much more detail. The BXTS 15A improves temperatures over the stock Intel solution, but it's also noisier, and compared to other cheap aftermarket solutions, it really doesn't make much sense. Different processors and less intense overclocks will mean different results though, but in my opinion, unless you are set on sticking with the Intel brand, it's certainly worth looking elsewhere. Sometimes you just see things on Amazon and you can't help yourself though, right? Anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, not the most exciting thing in the world I'll admit, but if you did like this video leave a like on it, leave a dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, let me know if you use one of these coolers in your system and what processor you use it with, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.